It's gonna be a seated band hamstring curl. So it's a pretty simple one to do at home. You get a band from your friendly physical therapist, right? And you take it home and you tie it around, anything sturdy, table leg, um, you can tie a knot in it, close in a door, table leg, or even like leg of a couch or chair works pretty well. And I'm gonna take that band, I'm just gonna take it and loop it around my heel so that it stays more along the bottom of my foot. Sometimes I even take a little piece of that band underneath the heel. If I'm on a floor like this, I can be doing it in my sock or put a towel if I have shoes on, right? I wanna be far enough away that there's a little bit of tension in the band when it starts. And I'm gonna keep my foot straight. So a lot of people when they do this, they tend to wanna take that foot and turn it outward, right? So I wanna make sure I keep my foot straight. If anything, maybe slightly in, but for the most part, straight, okay? And I wanna make sure as I pull against that band, that I keep a nice straight line between my foot and my knee, going back as far as comfortable, and then very slowly coming back out. There's always that temptation, especially after I come in, to let this quickly shoot out, right? I wanna make sure I control that motion, pulling against the band, keeping the nice straight position between my foot and my knee, slowly coming back out. Now another thing worth mentioning, I'm sitting and I'm sitting in not so great posture. So it would be better if I set up a little bit taller, right? Not necessarily into a big sway in my back, maybe a little bit of tension in my stomach and sitting more towards the edge of a chair. So I'm not necessarily way back in the chair, slouched like this. So on the edge of a chair, edge of a stool, sit up nice and tall, and then slowly pull back against this band, really focusing on the foot position being straight and slowly letting that band pull me away. Easy enough.